Hello YouTube, we are back and we're going to be working on our monthly. Uh, we did May last time with our stickers and we decorated and we had a good time. It was Cinco de Mayo on May 5th and uh, Mother's Day was just May 8th. So let's get started in June. Alright, so I had to draw in my lines already because my daughter was wonderful enough to make these little boxes for me and they are an inch and a half by an inch and a half and I needed to make sure that my boxes were an inch and a half by an inch and a half and that's what I did and I think they're beautiful then she was able to get me uh, June 2016 and this was the washi tape that she made me which is like a, a dark teal kind of like a dark teal it's the colors of June 2016 for Erin Condren it's oh okay it's the colors of the Erin Condren for June 2016 the vertical the vertical alright well that's the color scheme we're going with and you know me I have other stuff to add to it so let's get started. So when are you going to get your Erin Condren, Dre? Tomorrow. What? Whoop whoop. That is so cool. Very excited. I bet. I'm going to try and make sure to get this in here. <laughs> Straight. <laughs> And not too crooked. Let's see. Yeah, I think I did okay. Well, I got a little crooked, but that's all right. You guys know me. I do not do straight all that well. Uh, 2016. Oh, no. Okay. There we go. Oh, I didn't get the sticker off. Oh my goodness, I was wondering. Usually I get it stuck and I can't peel get it off. off. Yeah, I peel and um, rip paper. Like, look at that. There we go. I'm just trimming this because I didn't put it on all that straight but I don't want it to stick to anything while I'm working so there get that taken care of June I don't know of any holidays that are in June so we don't have any holiday stickers for June because I didn't do my research because <laughs> that's right I did not do my research no I didn't you didn't either, huh? That is my puppy saying hello to everybody and anybody who will listen because he likes to talk to everybody. Including the door. <laughs> Oh man, how do you get a square crooked? crooked? Yeah, oh, look at I did not rip the paper. I just okay there. Now it's crooked the other way, so that's, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> that's all good. It's all good. I hope everybody is having a good month of May so far. If you are doing something fantastical, leave a comment in the box below about what that is and how you plan to achieve it. 
if it's a goal or just some sort of priority. You might even just leave a message saying hello, which we don't mind. We will probably say hello back. I, my dog wants to talk while I'm talking, so. I don't know why he's always talking when I'm talking. I just want to leave a little note here or uh, give a suggestion. And I did this on my last video. And do you see the bleed lines here? Well, bleed lines are made um, when they're printing stickers, when people are printing stickers. And a lot of people will um, go ahead and throw those away and I am suggesting that you don't do that because what you can do is cut them to make them useful to you some way so I'm just gonna cut this here real quick and show you oh yeah I'll use this one how I can make this one useful so, let's see here. First, I gotta get my other scissors, because these, these, you ever get those scissors that stick to your thumb and you're trying to get it off and, and they're, you know, you're like, get off my thumb. Oh, goodness. Anyway, so cut your bleed line down as straight as you can and they like these scissors they're from office max and they don't stick to my thumb but these are from Cricut and they stick to my thumb they will not get off me so Anywho, so now I've got that cut out and I drop it and I'm going to show you how I have see this little box here I got and it's kind of overlapping here so I'm going to take a strip um, and I just made it a useful sticker Get this thing off of there. I don't know what that thing is. Just stuff pop up everywhere. <laughs> and I'm going to put this right here. Kind of help this fade out a little bit. And you can leave a crooked line if you want. <laughs> But as you can see, it kind of faded it out so that two no longer looks like it's going into the red. Now it's more solid. And that was probably not a helpful hint, but maybe it'll help you one day when you have the same problem I just ran into. Okay, so my other idea is when you get, um, you know, colored items and you get them more thick, uh, you can slice them down to little washi tape and use them, especially if you draw your own calendar like I do, and use them to cover the lines of your calendar. Oh, there we go. Uh, no. There we go. There we go. What? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to take the paper off the other end. Okay. There. There. See how pretty that is? Just kind of blends everything together. And don't throw away stuff like this. Because um, you can use it 
for when you make a mistake. <laughs> All right, so just, you know, save it somewhere. <clears throat> Excuse me. And don't throw anything away until you're absolutely sure you don't need it. I'm so frugal. Okay. <laughs> or cheap. What, however you want <laughs> However you want to say it. I'm cheap and frugal. All right. <laughs> My daughter is getting such a kick out of me today. She won't even talk to me. I don't know what to say. <laughs> You're so stupid, Mom. No. Okay. You're so funny, Mom. Sure. I should have been a comedian. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> but she said that fast, didn't she, folks? She's like, no. You know, I met Eddie Murphy once. Oh, so much. I did. Hollywood Boulevard. And... Why are you breathing so hard over there? <laughs> I'm trying to concentrate. Anywho. Yes, he was very nice. He took a picture with me. And I don't know where that picture is. I had it made into a t-shirt. But I don't know where the picture is. I'll have to find it. And when I do, I'll show it to you in my next video. But I was born and raised in California, and um, so I knew Hollywood Boulevard very well. It was, uh, I wasn't a prostitute or anything, I'm just saying that I knew, I, there was like nightclubs down there, and um, in the 80s and 90s is when, <clears throat> when I was hanging out there, and there was no uh, Julia Roberts standing in boots and half her clothes off. Wasn't that kind of party on Hollywood Boulevard back then. Although they kind of make it seem like it in that movie Pretty Woman, don't they? Yeah. They make it seem like Hollywood Boulevard was just, you know, woo, go get a prostitute. <laughs> <clears throat> but it was not like that. It was... um just a, a party, party town. I don't know what it's like now. It's been a long time since I've been there. Although my nephews might know. But I don't know. I like that. Can you see from over there? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. That What's usually that? means no, folks. Yeah, <laughs> this is why I'm not talking to you. <laughs> so like, yeah, a little bit. A little bit to the right, a little bit to the left. Here. Step. Nope. What? I said no. Don't start singing. Oh. Step to the left, step to the right. Mom. <laughs> Do you know that song? We've discussed this, and no. <laughs> Who sounds like the parent now? We've discussed this, and you are not allowed to sing on video. Because we'll get in trouble. Yeah. By YouTube police. Yep. Well, that didn't cut right. No, I did that. Oh. Jimmy. 
you know, that um, movie with um, Dream Girls. With um, Beyonce. And uh, Jennifer Hudson. And uh, Eddie Murphy. And uh, <laughs> Jamie Foxx. I still know my stuff. My daughter is the movie mogul. She knows everything there is to know about different movies. You put a movie in the comment box, and I will get her to tell you who's in it, what's it about, as long as you don't go past 1970. <laughs> she's, um, <clears throat> she, she will not help you if it's older than 1970. Anyway, that movie Dream Girls, I really like that movie. Did you say Eddie Murphy? Yes. Because he's in there and he plays this character. And um, at first, you're expecting him to be comedic because he's a comedian. And he and in that movie, he's not funny at all. I mean, he's a very serious character. And it's so funny because, it's funny to me anyway, because um, one of his songs... <laughs> Party all the time? No, one of his songs in the movie is, Jimmy got do, Jimmy got do, Jimmy got do, Jimmy got do, 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 something like that. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> that was, now that was the must have been the comic song because it was so stupid. <laughs> I couldn't believe someone made it. Anywho, it was funny. If you guys like that movie Dream Girls, put heck yes in the comment box below and uh, show your love for the movie Dream Girls. I thought it was a great movie. And there was another one that I really liked, which was called um, Sparkle. Who's in that, Dre? I've never heard of that movie. Really? Jennifer Hudson? No. No? Mm -mm. Oh, Brandy. No. No? No. Mariah Carey? Heck no. <laughs> oh, that was glitter. Um, I've never heard of that movie. Sparkle? Yeah. Okay. Well, don't put anything in the comment box <laughs> <laughs> That's up. about movies because Dre might not know <clears throat> about any movies that you might know about. Normally, she's all blah, 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 movie. She knows them all. The girl from American Horror Story? Who? Queenie. No. Uh -uh. Who the heck is in it? Um. Well, yeah. Of course I, you don't I, I don't know. know. Yeah. Yeah. You've only seen the movie, but you don't know who's in it. Yeah, it's got some pretty music to it. I like those type of movies where it has nice music to it. Is it old? No, actually, it was. Uh, I think it was right before um, Dream Girls. You could get these um, date stickers. Nope. No. <laughs> not yet. They're not released yet, folks. What one day <laughs> in the near future, these will be released, and Bows and Brains will sell them in her shop on Etsy. I'll put a link below, and if you're interested in getting stickers for your happy planner, <clears throat> Aaron Condren, Carpe Diem. And what was that other one? Pretty much any planner that fits Aaron Condren and Happy Planner stickers. Or even for your hand-drawn planner. Um, go check her out. I think you'll be su pleasantly surprised. I think we're going to go in a little poppy. Oh, no, that's, what, that's why I picked these up. Yeah. So I could put Monday... Tuesday. You know, I don't like that right there. I need, um, what's that? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing.
nothing there. Yeah. I don't know what had me on that Eddie Murphy kick. Isn't that funny? Well, that's weird. Yeah. Showing my age, I guess. Because he's so old. <laughs> <laughs> no comments. Thank you for being a sweet child. I'm not a child. I you know. <laughs> Don't you mothers out there hate when your children say, I'm not a child. You Don't you always, children out there hate when your mothers say you're still a child? You will always, always be our child. Sorry, you have to hear it sometime. It's a term of endearment. It is not a put down. Oh, no. Aw, oh, darn. Don't rip. Oh, good. Okay. Nice and crooked. So. <laughs> That's what we want. <laughs> we want nice and crooked. So, come on Wednesday. You can, you can go down crooked too. There you go. Didn't even get all the way on the box. <laughs> but that's alright. Isn't she funny, folks? <laughs> I just, you know, try try to do my best in everything I do and sometimes that it, means putting stickers down crookedly yeah sometimes that's just a little clumsiness comes out and that's all but you know that's life and you're the clumsy crafter I am mm, I want to put Saturday and Sunday here. So I'm gonna put sneak over, take a little bit of room from Friday. It's not enough room. No, it's not enough room. There we go. Saturday, Sunday. That's what I want to do. And we know June 1st starts on Wednesday. Wednesday. So let's... Oh <laughs> I'm going to move it to the right. While I finish putting on the numbers, I will be back with a little surprise. Hang in there. Surprise! I'm done! <laughs> so it took me a little while, and I did not want another hour-long video about random stuff that you may or may not have been interested in. Uh-oh. See? There we go. Could you hold that? Yep. All right. So this is how June turned out. Here's Monday through Wednesday. And here's Thursday through Sunday. And I did uh, Saturday and Sunday. I half these boxes here. And I ended up missing a few days. So I had to half these boxes here. And um, that's okay, because it's not like I do a lot. Um, I don't... Oh, man. I wanted to use this flower. But my daughter kept saying, Stop sticking so many stickers on there. 
I was like, okay, that flower would have been cute somewhere. Maybe I'll do it for next month. All right, so anyway, we know that Tuesdays and Thursdays are YouTube days. So we do... My arm <laughs> Are you okay? My, arm my, my daughter <laughs> stood up suddenly and shocked the shit out of me. I thought she was going to faint or something. But, uh, but her arm hurts. <laughs> because I'm holding your camera. camera. Thank you so much. So Tuesday, Thursday... Are Tuesdays and Thursdays YouTube days? Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. Is that what we decided? That's what you decided. Maybe it should just be Tuesdays and Thursdays and not Sundays. No, it should be Tuesdays and Sundays. That way you have a break. Okay. So we got YouTube on Tuesday and then YouTube on Sunday. So we know that goes all the way down. So we're just drawing an arrow. We don't have to write YT all over the calendar. We just know it's going to be the 7th, the 14th, the 21st, and the 28th. Then it's going to be the 5th, the 12th, the 19th, and the 26th. Which isn't in frame. Which is not in frame. So there it is. The 5th, the 12th, the 19th, 26th. And then we know that I personally want to do projects on Thursday. So I will do that, and then you will see them, hopefully, on Sunday. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment and your question in the comment box below. And feel free to subscribe. I will try to put out uh, these videos uh, once every week and um, twice on a good week. If, um, if you have something specific in mind that you are looking forward to seeing, uh, just uh, shoot me an email and um, I'll see if I can't get it done for you. If, thank you for watching it. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> it sounds like retard. Anyway, so thank you for watching and have a great week.